transport at 230%, we're much more comfortable uh, using uh, Uber and Kareem with, with our credit card transactions. Quick service restaurants, uh, those are definitely a big driver, especially that the ticket size is not big. You're looking at anywhere from 40 to 100 dirhams uh, for transactions. Real data about the status of e-commerce in the United Arab Emirates has been recently made available by Visa and the government of Dubai. The year-on-year -year growth for categories, government services is definitely a big driver for that. And uh, retail goods, the, due to the growth of the Instagram stores, as well as the retailers going more into, leaning more into online commerce. Transport at 230%, we're much more comfortable uh, using uh, Uber and Kareem with, uh, with our credit card transactions. Quick service restaurants, uh, those are definitely a big driver, especially that the ticket size is not big. You're looking at anywhere from 40 to 100 dirhams uh, for transactions. Entertainment, as in tickets for, for movies or shows and so on, those are also uh, uh, growing, especially when you want to book something in advance to make sure that you secure your seat. And retail services at 360%, this is when the uh, retailers are leaning more into online commerce. So what are we buying online in Dubai and the UAE? Government and education is the largest uh, contributor to that. And that is a testimony for uh, the government driving those transactions. Another reason why government and education services rank very high in the uh, transaction uh, volume is that uh, the, the, what you pay for is much higher. So school tuition fees, uh, 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 services uh, from the government in terms of licensing and taxes and so on. Those are high ticket items. This is a contributor to why the volume, uh, uh, the volume of transactions within Dubai and the UAE is uh, relatively higher than other categories. Airline and travel services are highly ranked uh, within the uh, transaction categories uh, due to the uh, increasing nature of uh, better offers and deals when you buy directly from uh, Emirates Airlines, for example, versus a third-party provider uh, for, that, uh, for that service. Or when you're booking for a hotel, there are so many uh, uh, hotel aggregators that provide you with, the, with, the, with, uh, with great offers when it comes to uh, uh, airline and travel uh, Offerings. So when you buy directly from them versus a third party uh, offline store, you have uh, a better a better deal. You have uh, uh, electronic transactions that come your way that store in your phone. There's a decent mobile app, a, a clear email for proof of what you have. Um, you can set. You can look at the different options for comparison versus sitting on the phone or, in, or physically within uh, different travel locations. And so, a lot of money has has been funneled to those categories. Telecom providers within Dubai and the UAE have made available a wide range of different ways to pay your bill or the bills of your family or your company. And online payment, electronic commerce payment, is is one aspect of those. And you get to see a, a growing number of people who are more comfortable paying their own bills or the bills of their family or their work using uh, using those cards. What is labeled as quick service restaurants and transport are more what consumers we do every day. Uh, we need on a daily basis to eat, to get from place to place. So the ut utilization of Uber and Kareem uh, uh, for transportation, in terms of food, you, ha you have a, a wide competing variety within Dubai and the UAE for uh, Uber Eats, Deliveroo, uh, Kareem Now, Zomato, uh, a wide variety of different transactions for people to buy online. So for those, what Visa pointed out in its report is the number of these small transactions is increasing the apparel and accessories is not a big category yet, it's only 3%. However, this is definitely, definitely growing by two drivers. Offline retailers going more, uh, leaning more into online, and independent retailers that are being created on a daily basis that are, that are transacting. The usage of the two is driving the, the, the apparel uh, uh, transactions, and, and those, that, that volume and number of transactions will only grow moving forward. Projected UAE e-commerce sales in 2019 is estimated to be 16 billion, with a 23% estimated year-on-year -year growth. The projected KSA e-commerce sales in 2019 is estimated to be 7.7 .7 billion, 
I'm sure when we talk in 2020 for the KSC e-commerce sales, we're going to see a significant growth. The UAE e-commerce penetration, meaning from the total commerce, how many of those transactions are online, it's 4.2% based on the 2017 data only. So it's likely much higher with, with uh, 2019 data. The average spend per transaction in the UAE is $144 in 2018-2019. That's a large number and that's also due to the uh, bigger contributor of uh, e-commerce transactions being done with e-government services and education. One recurring theme within the report is logistics infrastructure readiness. That does not reflect what the consumer wants in terms of trust and confidence for online commerce. This is behind the scenes practically what needs to be done on the ground in order to enhance electronic commerce. For example, ports, marine ports for import and export and cross-border exchanges. Uh, the uh, complexity of the documents needed for import and export. Uh, clarity on taxation, what is taxed, at what point is it taxed. Uh, clarity on uh, custom fees and the process of custom fees and, and uh, uh, estimations of what those would cost. This is an example of what goes within uh, the logistics infrastructure readiness. And this is part of the commitment of uh, Dubai and the UAE to further enhance that environment for uh, electronic commerce. There's a growing number of marketplaces within uh, Dubai and the UAE. We, uh, they're, think of them as electronic malls that have different brands and different products. And when you buy, you're buying from that marketplace uh, and then a vendor. So there are two parties here. There's the vendor who actually sends you the product and then there's the marketplace that houses these many vendors. So in case you have an issue with the vendor, marketplaces are aware now that they need to have trust with the consumer in order in case for them to buy more from that marketplace so that in case you have an issue as a consumer with any of the vendors that they're able to step in and help so uh, they are more flexible on refunds uh, they have support teams who are able to do this they can mediate between the two so that also provides an element of confidence a lot of transactions that I've done over 15 years, whether for myself or for the companies uh, that I start and manage, uh, for the transactions we have, we've had only two cases throughout a 15 year period. So the trust aspect is definitely, definitely, definitely very big when it comes to transacting within Dubai, UAE and other parts of the Middle East and the world. Consumers also care about same day and next day delivery. And that has been growing in popularity and availability within Dubai and the UAE. So when you order a, an item online, we like it as fast as we can. The, uh, the e-commerce uh, report from Visa uh, uh, and uh, the Dubai economy shows that the trust by consumers continues to grow and they're transacting in much bigger volumes across, across many different categories. Specific categories of products and niche products that are available via uh, stores that are Instagram based. Uh, they refer to themselves as e-boutiques, as in we don't have a physical store. We have an online presence which tends to be a simple Instagram account, uh, not even an online commerce website. And uh, more and more consumers have been trusting them with their, with their money, um, especially when there is clarity on uh, the refund policy and the exchange policy. As a consumer, if there's a thought in your mind if online transactions are secure or not, today in 2019 in Dubai and the UAE, the transactions have been much more secure, especially from well-known brands in retail, commerce, government, to uh, have the confidence to buy online, talk to your bank, talk to other people who are making their transactions online, you'll see that a growing number of people are much more comfortable uh, uh, purchasing online. In case you have issues, your bank can return the money to you. The vendor, the, the decent vendors that you buy from have a, have a good support team in place in order to, 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 to reimburse you.